Um, me had some horseback riding lesson, so I thought I had, I've got a little bit to do a video today since, um, the two little ones are at home with their dad. So, um, I figured, why not, I'll just do a talk in the car with my phone because I forgot my camera. But, um, I wanted to, you see my hair? I got my hair done yesterday for the first time. I've actually, I got my hair colored. Oh, crazy. And then, um, and cut. So, that was a first for me. Usually my aunt does it, but I had these gift certificates. So, I went to, um, to that place and got it done. So, and that was awesome. So, I really like it. It's nice and short. And I curled it just, like, a couple times this morning. Usually my hair is kind of wavy and curly. So, um, anyway, I'm done talking about my hair. Um, what I want to talk about today is, um, Oh, I keep saying, um, I need to stop. What I want to talk about today is morning routines. Um, there I go again. <laughs> um, ah, I can't stop it now that I know I'm doing it. Uh, so morning routines. I'm having a hard time with our morning routine and developing one and setting one up. So I just want to talk about how our morning goes because I see on YouTube these videos of these moms who have these amazing YouTubes. They wake up, they wash their face, they get their kids up and it's just happy and that's just not how my mornings go. I have two mornings. Um, my better mornings are I my alarm goes off at 6, which it does every morning. My alarm does go off at 6 o'clock every morning. That's a one consistent thing that every morning happens. It goes off at six. My on my better mornings, I actually wake up when my alarm goes off, and I'd rather wake up when my alarm goes off so I can get up, take a shower, put the dogs out, and get my coffee, and kind of have a chance. That usually leaves me with about five minutes to sit down before my girls wake up, which I hate it because my girls will wake up at any like sound that the house makes so my dogs are loud when they go out so I have a gate up between our bedroom and the, out, the living room and the areas outside because I don't want Luna our husky she's still young and she still likes to choose things up so she's not allowed to go in the living room when we're not out there uh, so um, there we go again. so when I let them out they're really loud. Their nails are really loud on our floor, and of course the girls wake up. So <laughs> I hate doing that, but I have to let them out. You know, I can't go over the gate and leave them in the bedroom because then they'll whine and cry, and the girls will wake up. So my good mornings, the girls stay asleep, and I can go out into the living room and sit down for a minute, and that just gives me time to drink my coffee and be awake before the girls. Now, more recently. I haven't been able to do that because I haven't been getting a good night's sleep. For some reason, I just have not been able to sleep. So, I have not been waking up with my alarm. Like, I've just been cutting it off and then waiting until 7 o'clock when my girls wake up and then I'm like a monster. And I'm like, oh, don't talk to me. I need my coffee. So, um, and then I don't get a shower in the morning and then I'm trying to fit one in at like 8 o'clock. And uh, our whole day just goes... We're just late through our, our whole day because I have to get a shower and then I have to get ready. So that's, instead of the 30 minutes it takes me in the morning, if I just get up at 6 o'clock and do it, it takes me like two hours because of the interruptions and stuff and I just can't get it done. So it makes our whole day go like two hours behind if I don't get up at 6. So those are our mornings. And you know, I wish that, I just cannot get a routine going. I can't wake up and then bring the girls down and we have breakfast and I mean, it just doesn't work. They just want cups and they want, they get one TV show in the morning. So it's, I just need that moment to wake up and drink my coffee because if not, then they're like, mom, 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 mom. And I just, I can't do it. I can't do it in the morning. And usually I'm a pretty happy person in the morning, but I'm not that happy. I'm not that happy in the mornings. <laughs> so, but I am a morning person. Like I like to get up. I cannot sleep in. I can't sleep in past seven. I mean, I might lay in bed until 7.30, but I'm awake at 7. So, 
you know, I wish, and then we do usually don't even eat breakfast because but we just sit around until eight o'clock from seven to eight. We just kind of lay on the cat, sit on the couch, and just kind of cuddle and stuff. And by eight o'clock, I that's when I get up and I'm like, okay, we've got to get going. I try to clean up a little bit, and that and my kids just aren't breakfast eaters except for me yet. But my kids just don't like any breakfast foods. They no eggs, even though we have chickens, we have so many eggs, and they won't eat eggs. And um, cereal, a little bit, Cheerios, Cheerios and fruit is what they'll eat. And you know, they don't want it every morning. Who wants the same thing every morning? They, so it's been a hassle. They want Pop Tarts. They could eat Pop Tarts every morning, but I can't give my kids Pop Tarts every morning. <laughs> so I can't, I can't do it. So I just have a hard time trying to get a routine going on, and you know, and it's hard to get homeschool started because you know, then they're hungry. Right when we sit down to do schoolwork, they're hungry, and then they're oh, we eat. We want a snack. We want to. So I don't know. I'm still working on our morning routine, and uh, it's a, it's a hard struggle. It's a hard struggle. I don't know. And my kids are so set in their way right now of getting up, getting their cups. Well, the two little ones get their cups of milk and then sitting on the couch and watching a show that I can't, I can't break it. Like, and then they drink that whole cup of milk and that's why they're not hungry for breakfast, but they want that cup of milk in the morning, seven o'clock in the morning. And they won't like, they're not hungry. Well, none of us are hungry. I actually really don't eat breakfast that much. I'm not a breakfast eater. So I am not eating breakfast. So they're not really eating breakfast because they're filling up on milk. So, I don't know. This is my little rant of my, like, I'm trying to talk myself through it. And it's just, maybe it's not too bad, but it just seems bad in the mornings. I'm like, gosh, we've got to change something about this morning. And I just don't know what it is. And I've tried not giving them the cups and trying to, like, no, let's wait for breakfast. And we'll sit down and eat breakfast. And you can have your cups. But... They don't want, they scream and cry and it's just, uh, then I actually have to make breakfast and then nobody eats it besides, besides me yet. I mean, that's the only one who eats breakfast most mornings. So, I don't know. If you have a morning that, if you have a morning routine that works, leave it down in the comments below. I love reading about and seeing people with morning routine and how they differ. But, you know, if I did our, uh, like a YouTube morning routine video, it'd be like, It'd be real life. <laughs> and it'd be like tears and grumpiness. And yeah, we're not we're not super happy in the mornings. Until that's why we kind of work, we're quiet and we just have a show on. And uh, that's when they get their most screen time is in the morning of that half an hour. You know, sometimes they'll do two shows. Mm. We're ashamed to admit. Sometimes they do two shows and then we go ahead and cut the TV off. And then the TV's off all day. But that morning time I just can't get I just can't get it I just can't do it so no no I guess it's okay I guess I just gotta live with it I just gotta have to like tell myself it's okay it's fine this is how what stage in life we are right now and that's what the homeschool thing is just you know we're not super organized and I'm not a big planner and we just kind of roll with it so maybe that's what I need to like incorporate into my morning routine is that we're just gonna roll with it and that's what it is so there's my rant I think my morning rant my morning routine rant in the car <laughs> so that's it I'm gonna stop it right there before I keep going and I need to get some planning done for next week's homeschool since I do it week by week so this it's a good time while I don't have kids and I can just sit and do some Pinteresting which kind of gets me in trouble because then I want to do all these crafts and I overwhelm myself so Maybe I will just pick a letter for next week, which it'll be D, actually. So maybe I'll just look at some science experiments. <laughs>